सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट रिगिड बॉडी एनिमेशन एंड गाइस आई यूज साइकिल रेंडर सी गाइस दैट्स माय ब्यूटीफुल डायनेमिक एंड रिगिड बॉडी एनिमेशन इट्स रियली सिंपल ट्यूटोरियल गाइस एंड बेस्ट ट्यूटोरियल फॉर बिगिनर्स सो नाउ गाइस आई शो यू माय रेंडर प्रीव्यू सी गाइस दैट्स माय मटेरियल एंड गाइस गो टू ऑन रेंडर एंड रेंडर इमेज चेक Yes, see guys, that's my beautiful render. It's really beautiful, guys, right? And now, guys, I teach you how I create this type of beautiful render and animation, guys. Okay, so now, guys, stop and guys, go to file and create new. So, guys, select all and press delete key. So, first of all, guys, I'm going to take a UV sphere, this one, and increase segments like sixty four. And ring thirty two is good. So guys, scale size zero point three. Enter all zero point three. Yes. So right click and shade smoother. Right. Okay. So guys, now I apply materials. Guys, I already create materials. So you can download this material from my website. It's free. So guys, go to on here. That's my material. So append material. See guys, that's my materials. And guys, see first one material marble material. So apply here shading, and guys apply marble like this. See guys, that's my marble. And guys, I apply marble texture. Guys, I have marble texture. See guys, that's my marble texture. Guys, you can download all marble texture and material link in description. So open. Yes. See guys. And guys, now I change roughness. So guys, roughness uncheck, and this time roughness zero point two is good. Yes, right. Okay, so guys, now I apply second material. So guys, go to append and apply this one. So go to one layout and press one. And guys, now I change half material. So guys, click on here, select half. Yes, and guys, go to on here and apply this one. Yes, and assign material. Check that's it, guys. So click on here, object mode. Yes, see, guys, that's my beautiful material, right? And next one, guys, I apply rigid body animation. So guys, go to on here and apply rigid body. So guys, type active is good, and guys, shape. I use sphere. That's my sphere. So guys, go to back and play. Yes. See guys, that's my dynamic, right? Okay. So guys, now I apply more spheres. So this time, so guys, now I take this time new collection. So guys, new collection, and that's my balls. Yes. And guys, select this sphere, drag and drop. That's my collection. Right. Okay. So guys, select this one spare, and this time I apply array effect, array, and factor one point one, and increase count, like eight is good. Right. And guys, duplicate. So click on here, duplicate, and guys, I change this factor zero and y one one point one. Yeah. Right. Okay, so guys, next one I apply more array, so duplicate, yes. So guys, but guys, see that's not correct. So I change factor y one zero and z one same one point one, one point one. Enter. See guys, that's my bunch of spheres. Guys, you can increase more counts. This one. That's my count, guys. If your system configuration is better, you can increase like fifteen. Otherwise, ten is also good. I use number of count fifteen. Yeah, see, guys, that's really good, right? That's my spares. Okay, so now, guys, go to back and play. See, guys, that's my dynamic, and go to back. Yeah, great. Okay, but guys, see, that's not correct. Yeah, it's group. So guys, unlink 
so guys select this pair and apply all array apply apply and apply yeah and guys now i go to on edit mode yes and guys press a that's my all selection yes see guys i take all selection and press p and lose part check see guys that's my all lose part right okay so now guys go to object mode and guys i already select all shape spare and right click go to set orientation that's my origin to geometry yeah and click on here see guys that's my center pivot it's made so guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my animation right okay so now next one guys this time i take plane and increase plane size yes and go to back yes and now guys select this plane and apply same rigid body so guys by this time i use passive that's my passive and shape i used mesh yes that's it guys so go guys go to back and play guys it's take little bit time because that's my heavy effect yeah yes see guys that's my beautiful dynamic right it's really simple tutorial guys okay so now guys go to back and play one more time yeah great okay so now guys i apply more object so guys select this plane and down and guys this time i use this time cylinder and increase the segments like 120 and guys radius increase like 4 height 5 is good yeah guys increase like 8 yes and guys press 7 so guys go to on mid yeah it's good right see guys that's my spare okay and now guys select this pair go to on edit mode guys select face and press delete key yes and face delete yeah right okay so next one guys i create cone shape so guys this time select this edge select and holding alt key select second one yes and press e and g guys scale size change create shape like this yeah see guys that's my shape right okay so guys little bit more and now press e and g and go to on down yeah see guys that's my shape and select this plane and down right see guys that's really good okay so now guys i apply this time uv spare for bowel so guys increase yes and increase scale size like this and press one yes and guys increase scale size yeah okay so next one guys select this one and edit select face guys i create shape like this so press delete key face delete yes right okay see guys that's my objects and now guys select this plane and press one so attach on here on last yes okay so guys select and shade smoother yeah it's good so guys now i crease depth thickness so use solidifier and guys increase thickness like this yeah yeah that's it guys and apply yeah right see guys that's really good okay so next one guys go to on wireframe yes it's really good and guys apply same select this one and apply solidifier thickness increase yes great okay so guys same apply yeah 
Okay, so guys, now select this one and drag it body. Guys, that's my passive and apply shape. So same this one and passive. Guys, that's my mesh, right? Okay, so guys, now go to back and play. Guys, take a little bit time for animation. And guys, wireframe uncheck. Yes. See guys, that's my beautiful dynamic animation. And now guys, I take camera. And guys, increase the scale size, plane scale size. Yes, and take camera. And camera check. And yeah, right? Okay, so guys, now I go to on here. And rig it body, word. So guys, catch a, guys, and catch a, I like 500. And, and 500. So guys, now bake all dynamic check. Okay, so guys, my baking is finished. Now go to back and play. Yes, see guys, that's my beautiful rigid body animation. Right, it's really good. Okay, so guys, delete bake this one and align. So press seven. So guys, select this this one so go to one mid like this and here yes okay so guys my all animation is finished now guys go to one here that's my render preview material so guys click on here material preview yeah and guys i apply Guys, you can apply any material. So go to one here. That's my blender kit, like marble. Enter and apply this one on here. Yeah, guys, you can change also UV. Select this pair and press tab and A and press U. Smart UV project check. Yeah, that's it, guys. And now, guys, I apply. Background material, that's my background and append check and apply BG. Yes. Okay, so guys, select this one, background, add it and create background. Yes. So guys, select this one and guys, apply bevel effect like amount 0 0.2 and segments 30 is good. So object mode and right click shade smoother and press zero. Yeah. Okay. So guys set your camera. Yes. Okay. So guys my all animation is finished. Now I apply simple light area light. I use area light and guys I increase the size like eight and guys go to on top view and apply on mid. Like this, guys, power like 150 is good. Enter. Yeah, see, guys, that's my area light. Okay, so, guys, lastly, I use this time HDR lighting. So, environment texture. So, guys, I have already texture. That's my HDR. So, open. Yes, and press zero. Yeah, so, guys, click on here. And this time, one more time, bake all dynamic check. Guys, my baking is finished now. Go to back and play. Yes, it's really beautiful, guys. So stop and click on here. Yeah, see, guys, that's my beautiful dynamic animation. Guys, best tutorial for beginners. So create your own animation. So tag on me on Instagram. So stop and guys, go to render and render image check. Yeah. Okay. So guys, now I change render setting. So close and go to on here. I use cycle render guys device GPU check and guys maximum like 64 is good for me because my system is not so powerful and like 32. Yeah, that's it. So guys go to on here render and render animation check guys. I show you only one frame render. Yes. See guys, that's a beautiful render. It's really beautiful. So close, stop. So guys, increase more frame. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Right, see guys, that's my final animation. And guys, one more time, 
render we may check okay see guys that's my beautiful final render it's really looking so realistic so close and now guys go to on here and frame rate i use 30 fps see guys that's my output so guys go to on desktop and create new folder like new ran select and take any file name so accept check okay so now guys go to on render and render animation check okay so guys that's it my final animation is finished so if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you